Everyone, um, I thought I'd quickly record this video. I don't record videos very often, um, but I was having this issue with trying to use Elementor and put the logo in the centre with navigation on either side. And I'd sort of looked around and people said you couldn't do it. And I thought, oh, I'll just have a play around and see what I can do. Uh, so this is my solution. I don't know if it's very pretty or not, but it basically does the job. Uh, so here I am in, uh, in WordPress and uh, first of all, in Elementor, I've created a header template and I've told it to be uh, going across the entire site. Uh, so first of all, let me just go into edit with Elementor here. <clears throat> and we'll just wait for that to pull up. Okay, so here we are. Here's the scenario. Let me just move that out of the way. Um, and basically what I've done is I've created uh, basically two headers within one header template. Uh, so uh, here on the one side we've got a menu called menu left and I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, on the other side we've got menu right and then we've got the site logo in the middle. Uh, then underneath we've got um, a basic sort of menu here. Uh, which is already uh, set to drop down as a hamburger on certain screen sizes. Uh, so just before I go any further, let me just go over here. I've totally unplanned this video, so sorry if I'm umming and ahhing a bit. Uh, let's go into appearance and menus first of all, and just so you can see how things are set up there. So we have a, um, a series of menus. We've got a menu that basically has all of the pages in it first of all that's really essential so we've got one menu that does all of the pages together there will of course be a little bit of legwork involved because uh, in doing this you're going to have to sort of edit three different menus but it's a workable solution it's not a big deal uh, so here we've got um, all of the pages as main menu then if I go to menu left <coughs> I've then got the pages I need just for menu left and when we go to menu right I've got the pages that are just from menu right, including some font awesome uh, icons in there as well. So there's my three menus. If we now go back into the templates again, <clears throat> into my published templates just here, uh, go back into edit it with Elementor. on so I don't keep disappearing off the screen. Okay so let's just analyse what we've got on these two sections of the template. So first things first this is set to be boxed and if I go into the advanced section and go to responsive I've told this top menu to be hidden on tablet and to hidden on mobile. If I didn't do that then apart from anything else I'd have two menus. Um, if I didn't have this second one here and I just left this as, as it is, when it's responsive you'll have two burger navigations, one for that one and one for that one. So I've basically told this whole section to disappear when it's on tablet and mobile. Uh, on the flip side, if we have a look at this one, sorry for my dog barking in background. On the flip side, if we have a look at this one, and I scroll down into the responsive classes here, I've told this one to be hidden on desktop. So one will be on desk, uh, one's just for mobile and tablet, which is this one, and then this one here is uh, for the other screen sizes. I might want to swap that search bar out uh, to be icons instead, but I can uh, tackle that later. Now if we have a look at the website, here we go, there's the, the links, there's the left hand menu, the right hand menu and the um, icon in the middle. If I now navigate and make it a bit smaller, so go into tablet size, you can now see those two menus have disappeared and I'm left with just a hamburger menu which has got the main menu showing. Uh, so that's my rather crude, stuttery way of showing you how I've tackled it. I just thought, having seen that there are a few issues with this and people asking this question, I thought I'd just ping out a, a random vi video on it. Uh, if you like this video, uh, why not give me a thumbs up? That would be great. Get me started on the wonderful world of YouTube.